couple of things. First, we're going to put on these uh, M3 side moldings and uh, a video just putting on side moldings wouldn't be fun. So we're also going to show you guys how to get yourself a near free uh, underbody skid plate. So I know there's a ton of companies out there that sell probably really, really good stuff, but uh, like we do with everything here, if we can do it for free or almost free, that's kind of what I'm going for with this build. So I'll show you guys a cool little uh, place for you to source some metal for your own skid plate and uh, we'll fab one up and throw it into the car. Alright guys, you know me, I couldn't pass up that deal to uh, pick up these moldings and aside from that we're missing quite a few pieces ourselves. So don't worry about this, uh, this fender, it's pretty rough but uh, we're either going to replace it or improve it so not to worry about but uh, for right now let's get these new moldings on. And also uh, check through my parts bin, I actually had a whole new set of clips just sitting out there because a lot of these are broken. Um, so I'm going to replace those as I go along, but uh, yep, let's go. And just to show you guys real quick, uh, this is actually the clip, the M3 molding clip, and then this is your stock non-M clip. So you can see that uh, there's, they're different heights, different widths, they're just different all around. That's the reason that uh, you've got to actually buy these uh, replacement clips. So just an FYI for you guys. So pretty much you just want to line up each of these pegs, the corresponding holes and then from one end to the other, lock it into place. So this one we gotta move down. All right guys, so this is what we're gonna use. We're actually gonna be using street signs. Uh, now just to be clear, just to be clear, I did not steal these, nor did I uh, spray graffiti. But uh, the cool thing about this is that, you know, number one, they caught the guy and made him pay for all, all new signs, which is cool. Number two is uh, you can actually go to your local dump or municipal uh, agency, whoever takes care of your roads, you know, fills the potholes, or in this case, they're, uh, they're in charge of going around and making sure all the signs aren't faded or damaged or sprayed or whatnot. And more often than not, you can just ask them, hey, do you guys have any extra street signs? And uh, like I said, more often than not, they'll be happy to give them to you. Uh, they get thrown away anyway, so, uh, and it's kind of cool, this is very, uh, you know, heavy duty but lightweight aluminum, and uh, it's going to be perfect for what we need. In this instance, uh, normal speed limit size, uh, about this size, is going to be perfect for what we need. 
So these are uh, measuring up about three millimeters. So again, it's not uh, not a battle tray. So if you hit a really big rock or something, you, you still run the risk of puncturing your oil pan. But uh, this is definitely a, a lot better than the plastic tray that comes with the car. All right, so I'm just gonna use the jack to hold the plate in place. I've got it hooked underneath the front lip of the bumper here. So I'm just gonna make sure that it's not gonna hit anything underneath and then work on drilling some pilot holes. All right, so there you go, guys. I showed you how to find your own free skid plate for uh, just a couple bucks worth of screws and hardware. So go down to your local municipality or uh, whoever takes care of your roads, ask them for the street signs, and make your own skid plate. See you guys next week. All right, so there you guys go. There you guys go.